Jason Judy. I'm the Marine Coordinator for the City of North Charleston Fire Department. I'm also a captain with the Fire Department. We have a Marine Division to provide service to the citizens of North Charleston that come out and enjoy the water, enjoy uh, the Cooper River, the Ashley River, and the surrounding areas. The Fire Department has become a member of the Charleston County Metro Marine Team which is a nationally accredited agency. That's a joint effort amongst North Charleston Fire Department, North Charleston PD, Charleston County Sheriff's Department, Coast Guard, Charleston City PD, any other agencies that may be out on the water. We all come together as one big team, provide safety and service to everybody who comes out and enjoys the water in our area. On our typical responses, we're coming out for medical, medical needs on board vessels that are out away from docks, away from piers, can't be reached by anything other than a boat. We come out for what's called a watercraft in distress. Vessel could be taken on water, vessel could be run aground, if there's any injury on board. We're here for that. We come out for vessel fires, pier fires, ship fires, basically anything that can't be reached by land. The vessel is a 36-foot metal craft. The model is a firestorm. Uh, it's capable of running roughly 40 to 45 knots at top speed. Doing a what we call a crash stop, the vessel can stop within a boat length of itself from full speed to dead stop. Capable of maneuverability, in all directions, no matter which way the boat's pointing, it's capable of moving side to side, backwards, forwards. It's a jet driven, driven by twin Cummins diesel engines. I'm Michael Gott Snell. I'm a firefighter on engine 208. This is Marine 201. This is where the operator sits and he drives the boat and controls the boat. Uh, on this side, this is where the captain sits. He does the radar and he speaks on the radio. Some of the compartments we have, this is all our medical equipment and our O2 stuff, so if somebody's having a little too much fun on the water, we can get to them quickly and help them with whatever their needs are. Over here, we have some extra tools that we use in case we need to get on the ships where people aren't there and they have an emergency, like a fire or something. And down below here, we have some dewatering pumps in case some boats take on water. We can get the water out of quickly and save the boat from going under. On the back of the rear of the boat here, we have two master streams that come off the rear. We have another one on the top of the boat and then one in the front of the boat. On here, we have the swim slash dive platform. When we have to do dive missions, divers go off the back here because it's easier to get on and off and if we have a medical emergency then somebody's in the water we come here and we can easily pull them in. To be a member of the Marine Division you need to have a basic knowledge and understanding of uh, vessels and being on the water. You can start with the South Carolina Boaters Ed course provided by DNR, it's free to take. After that there's other forms of training through uh, an agency called NASBLA. There's boat crew member, BOSAR and EVOC and Fireboat Small are some of the certifications we need and have to get to in order to run this vessel and, and do the job. Thanks for coming out with us on Marine 201, taking a ride, seeing what we do. Stay safe out there, stay NCFD safe.